This episode and my trip to Earth 2019 was sponsored by Filament One. Make sure you check them out at filamentone.com for all your 3D printing needs, including 3D printers, filaments, resins, subscription boxes, accessories, and much more. Hello makers, we are here at Earth 2019 and we're in the Proto Pasta booth where we have a uh, filament line actually. We have a pasta line going through. And next to me I have Alex. Uh, Alex is, well, I've never seen Proto Pasta being made. I know how filament is made, but right. I don't know how Proto Pasta is made. Right. And I've heard that it's different because gnomes are involved. <laughs> well, we do things a little different. But the gnomes do all the work, so, you know. All right, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. So, uh, I, I heard they only come out at night, though, so I doubt we'll be seeing any today. <laughs> They're uh, on second shift. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, I know one of them is a hybrid. His name is Keith, I think. I rarely <laughs> see him around. With a hat around here somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, tell us, Alex, how is Protopasta made? What is the process of from start to finish? Um, yeah. uh, and walk us through it. Yeah, so if we look at, like, the physical change we've got behind here heat cool inspect and spool so if you take out the specifics of the process right we're taking solid plastic making it liquid making it solid again making sure it's the right shape and then packaging it up so in a little more detail we're taking plastic pellets um, we are then heating and uh, shearing those in a screw Which and barrel be behind here oh, yeah so, do you have like is that the recipe on what how how filament is made? <laughs> this this is our maintenance uh, log <laughs> right on the side of the machine. Makes yeah, sense. uh huh. Um, you know, it's actually really a lot like your 3D printer hot end. Okay. So you take in solid plastic, you heat it up, but not too early, so you jam, okay. um, and don't try to push it faster than the system can handle. Okay. Um, give it enough time to melt in a proper way with a proper temperature, and out it comes in the shape. Uh, with the kind of uh, rate and consistency that you expect. So I've seen I've seen a couple of Struzans line uh, in, in my life. Some of them are cooled with water. Yeah. Yours are cooled with fans. What are the main differences and why choose one over the other? Yeah, well, w we started with air cool and we stuck with it. Um, it did what we needed to do. The reason to go to water would probably be mainly to get to a higher rate of production. Our focus is um, more of a higher mix environment. So. So far, we've found, we found that air cooling gets us where we need to be from a productivity standpoint. And we think it's uh, you know, a perk to not add moisture at all. We don't have to take it back out. We just like keep it dry and you know, it's like good for quality, right? And uh, I know you guys do workshops. Um, I've never attended one. Hint, hint, nod, nod, wig, wink. Um, <laughs> we'll so, yeah, exactly, we have to fix that. Uh, we also need to have a noob filament. Uh, it has could to happen. It could be a thing. It could be a thing. <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, when every, how often do the workshops happen? Uh, how can people find out about these workshops? Yeah, sure. The uh, the workshop, um, we we've been doing those about once a quarter. We took a quarter off with um, our local mini maker fair a month ago and this this event, but we've got our next one uh, November 9th. Um, it's already half full. Um, it's a it's a really special like intimate setting with just a half a, or a dozen people um, and uh, so we go in through the whole process and we get into the details of like texture and color and um, you can really appreciate and enjoy the nuance um, that you wouldn't get through like a web experience and I'm guessing people would be able to make their own color filament during those workshops. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the specialty of it, personalizing it to to your own taste. So, question: What is the weirdest name <laughs> anyone has ever named the filament they did? Hmm. I wait. wait. The first thing Can it be said on on the tubes? Well, well, we have we have a uh, a local fan. His name's Steve, and he called his fil to the two filaments he made in one day were Steve exclamation point and Steve. <laughs> Question mark. So it's not explicit. Uh, right. It's unique. Uh, right. <laughs> what about the complexity? Because I'm guessing, like, okay, I saw orange. It was yellow pellets and red pellets, and 
then you have the transparent palettes, which is sort of like the base, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, right? Um, what is the most complex color you've ever made? Because you're That's known to make some fun colors and more yeah. elaborate yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we have, we have uh, three sizes of silver fleck. So, you can, I'm not sure if we use three, probably just two um, in any formula. Um, we also have like gold fleck or multicolor. So, all of a sudden, um, I don't know, you can easily mix maybe six different ingredients. Um, and then just throw caffeine in it and make texture. it seven. <laughs> right, right, yeah, just for, just for good measure. Just for good measure. <laughs> just for good measure. Well, thank you very much. Um, how, how did you find Earth? Uh, how did you find having your own production line set up for people to see? I mean, it's been great. It's just what we'd hope. People are curious, they want to, they, they don't get in touch, they don't get to see this sort of thing. So it connects them more to how filament's made, and, and we think that's something special we can do for folks. Well, um, I, thank you very much for your time. You. I look forward to an invitation for these workshops. <laughs> um, and I, I already know the name for my filament, by the way. Okay. Let's I'm not going to say it. No, oh. I don't want anyone to steal it. But I know. I know the color and I know the name. All right. So all right. It's, it's, it's happening. I promise you it's happening. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. See you soon. All right. <laughs> So, so tell us, Alex, what is the process of mating, making pro mating? Not scratch I'm not that. Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Uh, it's gonna go in the end reel. <laughs> 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 <So> <laughs> okay. Deep breath. Yeah. Reset. Mm -hmm.